Hello everyone, my name is Leah Schick and today I am going to be showing you the beginner basic way to tune your violin at home. Now tuning a string instrument is a very delicate process so if this is new to you I would suggest having someone who already knows how to tune a string instrument or a parent or guardian with you just to make sure that you're following all the steps uh, correctly and being super safe with your instrument. As you get older you'll learn a few different ways to tune your instrument, but today I'm just going to show you the very, very beginner way if you haven't tuned before. So, step one, have your violin ready. Step two, you need to have a tuning device with you. So you can buy external tuning devices. You can also just download an app. Um, there are lots of different apps on iPhones or Androids or on iPads, computers as long as they have a microphone that can help you with this, and most of them are free. So the one I will be showing you today is a free app on the iPhone, and it is called InsTuner. That's spelled I-N-S, Tuner. So download a tuning app or get your external tuner ready for us to tune. All right, so take a look at your violin. Just to review, we have our four strings starting from the lowest, thickest string. We have G, D, A, and E. When I'm tuning in this way, I like to hold my violin on my knee with the strings facing towards me, and then I use my thumb to lock the strings like that. Now, just so you know, if you are being really careful with your violin, usually your strings shouldn't be too out of tune. I purposely put my strings a little bit too high or too low, just to show you examples of the tuning process. But hopefully most of the time when you check your instrument, you pluck the string and it's the note that you already want. So it's good to check. If you have any questions, please try to contact a violin teacher or a string player um, just to make sure that you're being as careful with you can, as you can with the instrument. All right, let's get started. Okay. So we're going to start with the A string and I'll show you how to do this. So I'll show, put the tuner in front of you. I'll pluck my A string and for our purposes, our A string is going to be called A4 since there are lots of different A's in music. So take a look at what the tuner says when I pluck my A string. There we go. If you looked at the tuner, what it said was A4, so that tells you you're on the right note, but the red line, there's a red orange line to the left, which shows you that you're too low. And it also said tune up right underneath. So I'll show that to you one more time. So this means our string is the right note, but a little bit too low. So look down at the bottom of your instrument. You're going to see these fine tuners here. Find the one that goes to the A string. And since my A string was flat, I'm going to take the fine tuner that connects to the A string and turn it clockwise, maybe about half a turn. That's it. Now I'm going to try it again. Take a look at what it says now. All right, so it shows we're still on A4, but we're still a little bit low. So I'm going to turn my A string fine tuner another half a turn. Let's see what it says now. Oh, so close. Much closer. So let me turn it again. Never turn it more than a full rotation at a time, just to be safe. And as you can see, I've got it. It turned green. It shows that I'm still on A4 and the correct note. And it's perfectly in tune. So now I'm going to go over to the D string. 
Let's see what my D string says. So as you can see, the tuner told me that my D string was a little bit too high and it said to tune it down. Take a look one more time before I change it. We're too high. So I'm going to find the fine tuner that goes along with the D string and I'm going to turn it counterclockwise to the left about half a turn. Let's see what it says now. turn it counterclockwise again. Again, maybe just half a turn. Let's see what it says now. So as you can see, it's, it's going back and forth a little bit, but since it hit that green, that means we are good and we are in tune. All right, let's take a look at our G string now. The lowest, the thickest string. All right, let's take a look at the G string. So as you can see, my G string is too low. This G will be G3. The G string is too low, so I need to turn it clockwise. About half a turn at a time to make my string a little bit higher. So let's try that. All right, let's see what it says now. So it's going back and forth between saying got it and still being a little bit too low. So I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit more. All right, let's try it now. Now we're going to go up to the E string. Let's take a look. This will be E5. So watch out. See if you see E5 on there. Now it says 5, but does it say E? No, it said D. So if you think about the musical alphabet, a, B, C, D, E, F, G. If I'm trying to play an E and it says that it, the tuner is hearing a D, it's way too low, right? It's not just a little turn, but it's actually on a lower note than it's supposed to be. So this is a little bit more complicated, so we have to be really, really careful. When our string is way too low, it's usually not too high because strings can't tighten themselves. When strings are too low to the point where, on, where they're on the wrong note, we have to go up to our peg. Now, um, if you're trying this at home, please make sure there's a parent or guardian doing this for now, um, if this is your first experience tuning, because this is a very delicate process, and if you don't do things very slowly and carefully, they can break, and we want to make sure that we're being safe with our instrument. So, when you tighten a string, the sound, the pitch goes up, when you loosen a string, the pitch goes lower. So if we're on a D and we have to get to E, we're on D5, we have to get to E5, we have to tighten the string. So I'm going to follow my E string up to see which peg connects to it. And this will be the, uh, for the E string, it will be the one on the lower right. And what I'm going to do is take the peg and this has to be as slow as you can possibly move it and as little as you could possibly move it. I'm going to turn the peg away from me, teeny bit to tighten it, while pushing the peg in. If you don't push the peg in, it unravels because it loses the tension and then we have to do it all over again. So, move it teeny bit. Okay, I moved it maybe this much. Very, very small amount. Let me try it again now. Now, if you 
you look here, you might think it says E, but be careful, there's a little flat sign next to the E. We, that looks like that little lowercase b. So E flat is lower than E. So the notes are, if you have a certain note, if there's nothing next to it, for example, if it's just E, let's say that's here, any note that's flat is lower, any note that's sharp, which looks like the number sign, the palm side, that means it's too high. So we're on E flat, we have to get up to E. So I still have to tighten this. Again, as slow as possible, push the peg in as you turn it away from you, the teeniest bit possible. Let's try it again and see what we're on. Yay, we got to E. So now that we see there's an E, there's no flat sign or sharp sign next to the note, look at if it's too high or too low. So it's too low, it says turn up. So I'm going to find that fine tuner now that we're on the right note. We only use the pegs if if the note's totally wrong. So I'm going to turn it clockwise. Okay, let's try it. And now it's actually too high, so I'm going to turn it counterclockwise a little bit. Let's check it again. Got it. Exactly. All right, so that is an example of how to tune your instrument. Just to review, every move that you make when you tune your instrument should be as slow and as small as possible. So no big turns, no quick turns. It's better to try something a few times to get to the note you're trying to get to. So here are our steps. When you start with the tuner and you pluck the string, take a look at what it looks like. It's going to show you a letter. If that letter is the letter of the string that you're trying to do, so A4, D4, G3, or E5, then that's good. If the note is different, then you have to figure out how to get back to that correct note. So for example, if I'm trying to play A4 and I'm plucking and the tuner says G4, think about the musical alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That means we have to go up. Also, remember to check for flats and sharps. If you're trying to get to G and it says G flat, flat means it's low, so you have to go higher. If it says sharp, that means you have to go lower. Okay, so we have the regular note, flats down here, sharps up here. You have to try to make sure for the open strings that you're getting to the natural note. So keep an eye out for that. So after you're on the right note, then you can check the tuner and see is it showing you that it's too high or too low and then make very small adjustments with that. Thanks so much for tuning your violin with me today. Happy practicing!